So what I have here is what we call the Canadian Multilingual Standard QWERTY keyboard. And just like with any other QWERTY layouts, we're going to see on here that all my letters, the arrangement of letters here on the screen are pretty much close to, if not exactly what we have normally with the standard English QWERTY keyboard. With the exception of here, where I'm going to add, instead of what we reserve for punctuation, keys that are reserved just for adding accents. Okay, so let's find out how to add this to our Windows computer. We're going to go into the Windows menu, type in language, and click on here, edit language and keyboard options. Just open that up. Now, once we're here, we're going to go down into preferred languages. Okay. Your display language can be changed here into French if you wish, if it's something that you think will help you um, be forced to use more French in your everyday life just by virtue of looking at different French menus and such. Personally, I don't see much use for that. If uh, my computer fucks up, that just means I'm going to have to find my way for a myriad of settings just to change it back to English again, just so I can read all the uh, you know internet guides for how to fix my computer. So. I'm going to go into English here, Options, Add a Keyboard, and I'm just going to locate Canadian Multilingual Standard QWERTY over here. Uh, I believe they do Dvorak versions of these keyboards as well, but I'm, I'm not going to touch that. So let's get out of here. And you're done. At this point, I'd like to recommend everyone to go down and check the video description. I have a link here to a PDF that will show you all the new characters that you'll be able to type now in French, as well as your US keyboard equivalents, because granted, you'll be able to type everything here on this top column, but in terms of what you actually see back at home, you're going to need to memorize these one by one as you start typing more and more in French as you go. Um, just by way of an extra tip before I leave, Hitting Windows key and space together gives you a nice shortcut just to swap between your different keyboards. So I'm holding onto Windows key and I'm just tapping space to change between keyboards. That'll let you write quickly on the fly and uh, yeah. Great. Well, thank you everyone and see you again soon.